The last couple of weeks I've been playing around with this really cool physical computing development platform uh, called the Arduino. One of the things that's really cool about the Arduino is it's an open source hardware spec and there's an open source IDE uh, development environment for the Arduino. This board conforms to the Arduino spec. I purchased this one at sparkfun.com for less than $20. Uh, the board contains the microprocessor here and then along the edges of the board are the pinouts for uh, that you can write software to interact with um, physical devices attached to those pins. Uh, this project is one that I've redone from a previous project I did under the PIC microprocessor platform and um, I wanted to learn the Arduino. I'd heard good things about it. I decided well I'll just port that project uh, to the Arduino and so here it is. Um, what this is is uh, temperature control uh, measurement and control for uh, fermentation. So I'll be using it for, with my uh, brewing hobby. Um, so what we have here is it's on the LCD that attaches to the Arduino. One of the really cool things I found about the Arduino, there's a LCD library. Just really quickly I was able to wire the LCD to the Arduino board and within you know a very short amount of time I was able to just simply write simple messages out to the LCD. What I'm doing here though is um, I also have on this breadboard a temperature measurement uh, chip that one of the pins comes off to the Arduino and that actually reads the ambient temperature and then I display that as the actual temperature here. My target temperature is 66 and in this case my actual temperature is 67. Um, so since I'm running this in cooling mode I would have a, uh, another pin connected to the Arduino. This wire connects to an LED which would indicate uh, later on I'll attach a relay. This would indicate the relay would be on meaning that my cooling device would be running to try to bring the actual temperature down to the target. I um, also have a couple of buttons attached to this board. One button controls uh, changing menu displayed on the LCD and then these two buttons here uh, control menuing options within those menus. So if I push this button we'll go to the next menu and you can see what some of the options are. Um, I can use this for either heating or cooling. As you can see right now, it's set to cool. If I push the button on the right, you can see that it switches over to heating mode. Go back to cooling. Push the menu button again. I can display in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, I can adjust the target temperature. I can save those settings. I can turn logging on where once an hour I record the temperature that's measured from the chip into memory that's located on the microprocessor and then later I can export that through this connection also wired to the Arduino board and I can send that data over a serial connection to my computer. So now we're back in monitoring mode and um, that's pretty much it. I, I've found the Arduino platform really uh, really fun to work with and very actually very easy, much easier than uh, some other processors I've worked with. So if you have an interest I'd recommend you check it out.